Hey everyone! In today's tutorial, we'll show you how to create a cinematic effect, making a photo look like a still from a film. If you'd like to follow along with us and recreate the effect with the photo we're using, you can download the project files for this tutorial in the video description. To start, click the Insert Layer button and insert a color adjustments layer. Part of what makes an image look cinematic is the color grading, which refers to how the colors are edited. We'll go for a cool and subdued look, but we'll also need to be careful to avoid affecting the skin tones to keep them warm. For that reason, we'll need a few different color adjustments layers. In this layer, increase the temperature to around 14%, then reduce the exposure and brightness to around minus 20 or minus 25, and finally, add some saturation. 10% should be good. Next, add another color adjustments layer. This time, let's use the Shift Command A keyboard shortcut to do it. In this one, make the photo look colder by moving the temperature slider to minus 60. Now, in the layer sidebar, add a mask to this layer. To create some contrast between the warm and cold areas, we'll need to mask out the face and hands. Press the B key to choose the paint tool and choose a soft basic brush. Also, make sure the opacity of your brush is at 100%. Then set the color of the brush to black. The quickest way to do this is by pressing the D key to reset your foreground and background colors to default. Now, with the mask selected, zoom in and paint over the face, hands, and hair to mask out the adjustments in those areas. To quickly adjust the size of your brush when using the paint tool, you can press the left bracket and right bracket keys, or move the size slider in the tool options pane. Now, control click this color adjustments layer in the layer sidebar and choose Duplicate. Then, control click the duplicated layer and choose Color Adjustments, Reset Adjustments. Finally, click to select the mask and press the Command I keyboard shortcut to invert it. Now, we'll add some warmth. Increase the temperature, brightness, and vibrance a little. The changes might look very subtle, but if we click the Show Original button, you'll see that these subtle changes make a big difference. Now add another color adjustments layer. Again, you can use the Shift Command A keyboard shortcut. We'll use the adjustments in this layer to make the hat stand out a bit more. Choose the Quick Selection tool and make a selection of the hat. Once you're done, control click the new color adjustments layer and choose Add Mask. In the color adjustments pane, increase the temperature to 30% and the saturation to 35%. The last thing we'll do is make the subject stand out even more using one more color adjustments layer. Again, you can use the Shift Command A keyboard shortcut. Once you've added the layer, in the color adjustments pane, find the color balance adjustment and drag the midtones wheel down and to the right. This will make the midtones a little colder. Control click the new color adjustments layer and choose Add Mask. Then press the Command I keyboard shortcut to invert it. Press the B key to choose the paint tool and this time set the color of the brush to white. If you previously reset your foreground and background colors, you can press the X key to now switch to white. Increase the size of the brush to 900 pixels and then paint over the sea and sky. We'll also add some grain to the photo. To do that, click the Insert Layer button and choose Effects to insert an effects layer. Look for the grain effect and apply it. Then set its intensity to 15% and its size to 10%. If you'd like to take a look at what the photo looks like without any of these adjustments, you can option click the layer visibility button of the bottom layer to hide all the other layers. Then to make them visible again, option click the visibility button once more. 
The last thing we'll do to make the cinematic effect super convincing is crop the photo to a widescreen aspect ratio and add some black bars. First, choose a crop tool. Then, from the list of aspect ratio presets, choose a 16-9 preset. When choosing a composition, try and keep your subject well in the frame if possible. Click the Apply button when you're done. Now for the black bars. Choose the Shape tool and set the Fill color to black. Draw a rectangle at the top of the image. For this image, the rectangle should be 220 pixels tall, but this will vary based on how large the image itself is. Once you've drawn the first shape, press the Command-J keyboard shortcut to duplicate it and move the copy to the bottom of the image. To move objects while using the shape tools, press and hold the Command key. Also, once you start moving the shape, you can release the Command key to allow the Smart Alignment Guides to appear. And that's it for this technique. We've taken a simple photo and turned it into a moody cinematic shot using the power of color adjustments layers and masks. If you liked today's video and are looking for more Pixelmator Pro content, make sure to check out some of the other videos on our channel. And of course, you can always subscribe to get notified about new tutorials as soon as they go live. Thanks for watching.